2023 CR 7684 State of Texas versus Shelby Bandy. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Garrett, Your Honor. Defense? Kelly Piddle. And are you Miss Bandy? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have you received all the discovery? Did you review it with your client? Yes, sir. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Bandy, I'm showing you what's entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication or Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Showing you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? Yes. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of burglary of a habitation force? That's a second degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by entering this plea you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. Did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand if the court would have grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could fine you guilty, sentence you up to $10,000 fine and up to 20 years in prison? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Yes. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes. Ms. Bandy, has anyone threatened you, forced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No, ma'am. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, there's a $1,500 fine. State recommends deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration 684012. There's to be restitution if any, to Angel Gonzalez with a Z. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes. yes. State? It is, Your Honor. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, are there any such motions? No. Next, I'm showing you outside the agreement. The state is recommending that your community supervision be for a term of two years. There'll be a TAP evaluation, 200 hours of community service restitution, and no contact with Angel Gonzalez. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state, and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, then to the offenses charge, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State exhibit number one with all of its attachments. No objection. You may be excused. Showing you what's entitled waiver and consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that, to, that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony? Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will defer finding of guilt as you apply for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? We just asked him to follow up. All right. So why are you breaking into someone's home? Um, it was a misunderstanding, really. Uh, I was watching. I was. I lived there, and I was watching the house at the time. And um, the owner was um, in rehab, and uh, I had locked myself out of the house. And uh, so I went through a window. I didn't break anything, and I told the owner about it. And it's just. Why was the owner's clothes spread out all over the place? 
the his clothes yes i don't i don't know why were cabinets open throughout the house i don't know i didn't do any of that so either you're a bad watcher of homes or either you did that he's saying that he never gave you permission to be in his home he did that you're homeless i lived there i had i had mail going there and i lived with him in the at, at the residence and uh when I had, I decided to move out and he had got mad, I guess. I don't, I don't know, but, um, it's, it's a mess. Like, so I lived at the, that address. Defense. Um, we have discussed the defense judge. She understands that by taking this case, she's giving up her right to a trial and her very, uh, what we believe is a, a, a a valid defense, um, but she understands that she's giving up her rights and, and has pled no contest and wishes the court to proceed with the case. All right. So you do not wish to go to trial? No, ma'am. All right. How old are you? I'm 31. Do you have any children? I have a son. Age? Two. And where is your son? He's with family. And where was he doing all of this? Where was he at? Yeah, with my family. All right. Is there a child protective services case? Uh, no, ma'am. Why do you not have your two-year-old? It just, I, I didn't have a stable place to live, so. How far did you go in school? Uh, some college. When's the last time you had employment? Uh, about right before I got locked up, which I've been incarcerated for four months. And what were you doing? For uh, I was doing uh, traffic control. I'm sorry, what? Traffic control. What do you mean traffic control? Like, uh, you know how they shut down the highways? Um, with the cones and ah yeah so yes. you're the person who places the cones down mm -hmm. drug use no ma'am here's the thing i'm putting you on probation i'm going to write it down that you told me you have no drug use if you end up testing positive we're going to have issues okay so any drug use no, all right this is what the court is going to do Four years deferred adjudication. If you complete everything early, counsel, she can always come back. $1,500 fine, that would be probated. Take in consideration county court nine cause number 684012. And that 684012, is that the same complainant? No, it's Walmart, Judge. All right. So why are you stealing from Walmart, allegedly? Um, Was there a confusion there? No, I just... I didn't have the money to, to get like to pay for it. So, but you have employment. So why wouldn't you have money to pay for it? I didn't that day. Didn't have employment that day. No money. I didn't have money that day. So taking consideration six eight four zero one two, cats one and two. Regular random UAs. They're going to do random UAs if you're using. They're going to catch you. You understand? Yes, ma'am. 200 hours of community service restitution. I'm going to want parenting classes. Once she completes parenting classes, then I will deem her community service hours satisfied. There's to be no unsupervised contact with any minors. There's to be no contact with Angel Gonzalez. You're going to get employment. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Proof of employment within 30 days of release. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. <clears throat> Field visits one time per month until further notice. And we'll do a TAP evaluation that can be done out of custody and follow all TAP recommendations. Can the court make a notation regarding the payment of uh, supervisory fees? If, if she were to apply for early termination, she doesn't have to have all the supervisory fees paid for the full four years? No, well, what I can tell you is whether there's supervisory fees still pending in this court, whether there are court fees still pending in this court, when somebody asks for early termination, they send it to me okay. and I review it on a case by case basis. Okay, thank you. All right, probation, is there anything else she needs? No, Your Honor. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Mm -hmm. 
going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, thank you. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the, off the record. From here on out, everything that you do in your life, any decision you make, you need to ask yourself, is this something that could potentially result in me going to prison for 20 years? If the answer is yes, don't do it. If it's maybe or a gray area, don't do it. You understand? Yes, ma'am. In this courtroom, to be successful on probation, communication is key. If you feel that probation is not addressing something, then you can always come back to the court. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Thank, thank you, Judge. 2022 CR 10343. State of Texas versus Elisa Marie Herrera. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Defense. Lindsay Shaw for Ms. Herrera. And are you Ms. Herrera? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Are you the same Elisa Marie Herrera who's placed on community supervision in cause number 2022 CR 10343? For the offense of possession of a controlled substance, penalty group one, four grams to 200 grams on December 20th, 2022 for a term of eight years. Is that you? All right. I'm going to need you to make sure you speak up. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. State. A violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Elisa Marie Herrera, yes. did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of January, February, March, and April 2023 in violation of condition number four. How do you plead to that? True or not true? It's true. All right, Your Honor, our state waives all the violations. Any objections? No, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, and sentence you up to eight years in prison and up to a $1,000 fine? Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, Your Honor. The court will find violation of condition number four true is there a proposed agreement uh, your honor there's not the state's going to recommend four years tdc and judge uh, this i'll first start off by saying miss herrera has written a letter to your honor um she wanted your honor to read that letter um and then Any objection to the court reading the letter no your honor all right just give me a moment yes. Okay, I have read the letter. Uh, so Judge, Ms. Herrera comes here today, uh, not with excuses. She understands that she's, it's a, a mistake to not have reported, um, but she has explanations. And she will, she'll tell the court that she has been gainfully employed for seven months. She's a waitress at the Cameron Colado Seafood and Grill. Um, she has a three month old daughter um, with her husband, and she also recently learned through her husband's brother that her husband has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And again, back to you, she understands there's no excuse for why she didn't report. However, she explained to me that a month before she began this probation in September of 22, she was present in a house where two of her friends were murdered uh, in front of her. I think the charges as far as what happened with whoever did that to her friends uh, has gone Un, unresolved. But because of that, uh, she suffers from PTSD. And that was a reason why she struggled to report to probation, why she struggled to do what she's supposed to do. Um, she's tried to better herself by having gainful employment. Uh, she's had a daughter. And she's just asking the court to give her another chance with some form of uh, terms of probation that would allow her to be released from prison or from jail and do some sort of, I, what we're asking is for outpatient treatment with whatever kind of conditions and classes the judge, the court would want to order her to do. She's made it abundantly clear to me that she would be willing to, to do G, have a GPS monitor. Um, and, and she would like a chance to prove to this court that even though she's made mistakes by not reporting, she would like a second chance to get out of jail be with her three-month-old daughter and be supportive of her husband. All right. So we're asking that you um, deny the state's motion and give her an opportunity to have 
some form of outpatient treatment with whatever classes the court feels is appropriate. All right. I have some questions. Can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, ma'am. All right. You can lower your hand. So during this time frame where you said you were in a house and your friends were murdered, yes, ma'am. Was your daughter born? Mm -hmm. So you were pregnant. Yes. All right. That's why I got the PTSD. The PTSD it made me more crazier because um, we were just hanging out and it happened right there at the Washington Courts Hotel. I was visiting my friend. His name's uh, Robbie Jackson, and they came and knocked on his door after we were just eating, and they literally just shot him right in front of me. He died in my arms. Now, why were you at that hotel? Because I was visiting him. And where was your husband? My husband. My husband wasn't here at the time. He was in Washington. He's from Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So, how often were you using while you were not reporting? I wasn't using that. Often. I find that hard to believe, and let me just tell you why I find that hard to believe. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Yes, the whole outpatient thing, I'm not going to allow that if I continue you because I had already tried intensive outpatient treatment with you. Yes, ma'am. What have you done on probation that will warrant me continuing you on probation? Have you done anything? No, ma'am. Why not? Why I'm asking for a reinstatement. No, no, no. Why have you done nothing? Because I, it messed me up so to the point where I didn't even want to come outside my house. When did this happen? It happened in September 29th of last year all right before so, my probation all right right where i got on it yes so why didn't you say anything to probation that you have you know this issue going on because in this court yes, your attorney will tell you the state will tell you i always ask people what is it you need do you need anything yes, and you said nothing because if you would have said something we would have done something Yes, ma'am. It's because they made it seem like it was a robbery gone wrong. And to this day, they haven't found the person that. Had no, I'm and talking. What does that have to do? It just messed me up. I'm sorry. No, but why didn't you? I know. It was tell us right. that. I mean, we don't have crystal balls. We can't read. No, I know. I understand. And discover what's going on in people's life. Yes, ma'am. I understand. Any questions? No, I'm good, Steve. Probation. What are you recommending? It is Elisa Marie Herrera. We would recommend felony drug court with um, SATA. You can do a felony drug court referral and then SATA. Um, 120 to 180 days followed by the aftercare. All right. So here are your choices. Okay. I think you have a drug problem. I know you have a drug problem because I wouldn't have ordered what I ordered if you did not have a drug problem. We have a three month old involved and I have to look at things globally state. And if I were to send her to prison for four years, she will be out. That three year old would still be in a vulnerable state because the three year old would at most maybe be two or three years old having someone who has a drug problem who now is telling me she has mental health problems as well, looking at after the child and being around people who would be in a situation, which I'm not blaming the complainant, but it's odd that you're at a hotel with some friends. The father of your child is from Washington. Somebody just knocks on a hotel room door and comes in and shoots you say two are your friends, but they do not shoot you. Yeah, I, that's what I that's didn't odd. understand either. No, that right. means that there may be something else going on that should not have been going on at the hotel. Your friends, are they from San Antonio? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. It happened right there at the Washington courts on uh, the so, Polish, West Coast. That's what I'm saying. You have two friends who are from San Antonio who are at a hotel. You're at a hotel with them. Yes, Somebody knocks on the door. And they kill your two friends, but they do nothing with you. How do you think I saw? No, I mean, what I'm, I want you to no, see where I'm going with this. No, I, I don't get it. Get Here's it the all. thing. That means that there was something going on at that hotel room, possibly, that should not be, be going on. Because there's no way somebody is knocking at a door of a hotel know. room where your two friends who are from San Antonio are living at the hotel or, and you're visiting them. There's something else going on. 
And I'm not going to do a lot of unpacking of that situation. I could, but I'm not because maybe there's a pending case somewhere. So I'll deny the motion. I'm finding violation of condition number four true. I'm going to alternate amend conditions to include a referral to felony drug court. If not accepted, then probation. We can try uh, Sadaf. And if Sadaf doesn't accept her, she's going to safe P. And there's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. So that includes your three month old. You're going to need to make sure that there's somebody there who is responsible. And you were supposed to be residing with your mother. Yes, ma'am. my mom lives right there in Athens, Texas. That's why. So I moved over here to San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. She needs to reside with her mother when she, she leaves here. You're going to be residing with your mother if your mother allows it. Okay, yes, ma'am. And if you would have been in Atkins, Texas, like you were supposed to be, you probably wouldn't have been in this situation. Your mother has rules for you. You need to follow those. Do you understand? Yes. And we're going to order parenting classes. Uh, Ms. Abrams, is there anything else she needs? Do we need to do GPS upon release? Okay. All right. Is there anything else you need from this court to be successful? No, ma'am. All right. And Bashan, go ahead and do a mental health evaluation as well all right from here on out you better start doing better otherwise you're looking at eight years in prison and your child will see you when they're eight do you understand all right good luck to you okay.